I want to find the values of x at which this inequality is satisfied. Now the way to do this is to find the values of x where this left hand side is equal to 0. That will determine some intervals on the real number line. And uh, then what you can do is determine which of those intervals makes the inequality true. A convenient way to do this is to draw a picture. So here I've drawn a picture. These points here, 1 half, negative 1, and 2, are the points at which this uh, one of these factors is equal to 0. So these are the only points at which this left hand side is equal to 0. So if I look at something in here, it must be either positive or negative. Now when you look at the factors, I have two positive factors and one negative factor. So between negative 1 and 1 half, the product of these is negative. Similarly, the product of these is negative for x bigger than 2. But it's positive in here from 1 half to 2 and for x less than uh, minus 1 half. So the answer to the inequality, the solution to the inequality, is the collection of all x that are between negative 1 and 1 half, or you could have x bigger than 2. Now if you turn it around, turn this inequality around, and notice I made it bigger than or equal to, well in that case the solutions would be x less than or equal to negative 1, or x between 1 half and 2, and notice how we have less than or equal here and, and here. That's because x is allowed to equal either of these numbers. See, 0 is allowed here. So um, that's the solution to this uh, inequality also. Now if I had strictly bigger than 0, what would I have? If I had strictly bigger than 0, I would have this error, and then I would need to change these to strict inequalities, wouldn't I? like that. So that's how we go about doing it and, and all of them can be done in a similar manner.